I'm upgrading my turtle tank right now. I'm gonna get right to it and show you guys how I wanna have my bin pond enclosure for my little turtles. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We are back at it with another Slay Venture, and today we're gonna have some fun. But first, we're gonna do an update on our beautiful Marlboro car whiskers. Now, guys, if you've been following the channel, whiskers got demolished unfortunately get attacked by our catfish kitty he's in this pond right now he was moved from the bigger pond to the smaller pond over here let's go ahead and see if he'll eat on camera for you guys i come over here and i do feed him now the water it has been very very cold very very cold but i believe he'll still come up hey bud. oh there he goes there, there he goes he all right i've lost him he's over here he's over here i see him now he's over here swimming. he's just right under the bubble I might get him to turn around. He's right here. Ooh. He's turning around there. Coming this way right here. He's deep. Hey, buddy. He comes up, but again, the water temperature is not favorable right now for this fish. I'm gonna drop it. Follow that shrimp, see if you watch it disappear. Oh, oh, he's giving, oh. He might catch it. Definitely has a whip of it. Watch, he'll disappear. And there has gone. There you go. That is proof right there, guys, that he's doing good. He is eating. He's happy. We usually drop about three or four shrimp there a day. Yeah, I feed him daily because I want him to get really nice and big so that when he comes up against Kitty again in the future, there's going to be no problem. Now, he's right now going through the process of regrowing, regrowing some of his whiskers. You can look. His whiskers moving back and forth, back and forth, trapping that scent. Okay, let's go ahead and see. One more time. I'm going to drop it there. You can get him to eat on camera for you guys. Oh, oh that was a great <laughs> shot. See, as you can see, guys, he's eating, he's happy and healthy, he's doing good. So we're gonna leave the re remainder of those pieces there. I'm gonna take you guys to a beautiful place called Walmart because today we are building an enclosure of a giant bin pond, homemade, do it yourself. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Come check it out. We're going here. This is the reptile side. They have beautiful 40 gallon reptile, reptile habitats and everything you would need. And big koi pellets if you wanna have some koi in the mix. But I'm looking for some substrate. I'm looking for some river pebbles right here, right now. And it looks like there's not a single thing of river pebbles, guys. Just kidding, they're right below you over here. I have turtle gravel right here. This is what I want, 10 pounds, 20 pounds. I'm gonna have 30 pounds of river pebbles right here. We need some sand as well. Now, I do wanna keep this enclosure as easy and simple in regards to cleaning, because I'm just gonna grab all the water out and toss it and then put it back in. So what do you think, Ollie? Should we do a hybrid? Because I do want to have some other type of turtles. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a hybrid. All right, we're gonna get some sand. Get a good mix. Yeah, get a good mix. Oh, they have that cool American African cichlid sand. Look at that. That's pretty dope. It's a lot of doll hairs, but that's pretty dope. I like that. But they also have that top fin stuff. So you get 25 pounds for $20. So I think I can lay this on the bottom, then mix some of the gravel on top and then mix more on top so it can just do a slope. You guys will see, it's gonna be really cool. I wanna be able to make sure that I can cater to all the turtles I'm gonna have in there. So with that being said, we're gonna grab these pebbles. I think we're gonna grab this sand because it's nice and cheap. I want you guys to be able to do what I do here because $30 for how many bags, 20 bags? Yeah, no, no way. 25 no. pounds for 20 bucks. This is pretty cheap. So we got what we need here. I went to Home Depot ahead of time without you guys. And I got myself a massive, about what, was a 50 gallon bin? Yeah. But a 50 gallon bin. So with that being said, I'll meet you at the sleep pad. All right, Slayers, so we're outside and this is a balcony I have. This was the, the old tank here that I used to have that I had them in before inside the tank over there. I have all the stuff they need right there, the filter. I have my beautiful little Ninja Turtles over here. How you doing, guys? You guys doing good here? How you doing, buddy? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, they're so nice. Nice and hard, nice and good. How you doing? You doing good? Doing good. Interesting. A little lighter than the others. They're definitely growing. Growth patterns and everything. Eating well. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Oh, he's so cute. So what I want to go ahead and do is give them more space so they can grow. I can feed them better because this filter is very, very strong. It used to be Godzilla's filter. And I have all this space. So I got a 15-gallon container right here. I have everything I need. We Ollie went ahead and washed these river rocks as well as I have the sand. So what I'm gonna do is put sand on the bottom, then the river rocks on the top to go ahead and show some dry, uh, to have some dry area and some wet. Put the filter there roughly about right here. 
and all the other decorations and then add the turtles and it's gonna be perfect so we can go ahead and order those turtles like i told you about from blake's exotic animal ranch and have some fun with our turtles possibly have like maybe i can put guppies or some fantails or something like that in the mix and have my own little ecosystem right here and it'll be pretty cool that would be pretty raw. I'll probably, you know what? I'll, I'll probably hit a wall with a folly for those guppies since he had a whole bunch of babies. So, with that being said, I'm going to get right to it and show you guys how I want to have my bin pond enclosure for my little turtles. All right, Slayer. So, here I have my beautiful aquarium gravel from Top Fin, 25 pounds. So, we're going to just put that on the bottom here. Should be good enough. Just add this. It's a really cheap way. This is honestly not going to cost you that much. The bin was $25, this was 20 bucks, and the river rocks were $10 a pop. So if you do the math, it does the math as well. <laughs> no, it's less than $100 all day long. So here I have the sand. I'm going to put a lot of the sand on this side. Well, actually, I'm going to move some of the sand here because the filter is going to be right here on this side. If you guys check, I'm putting the filter here because that's where I have the plug. So we're going to put sand around as much as we can towards this area and have a little sand bed on this side. A little sand bed, right here. It should work out, cover that out. Should be good to go. Have more sand here. Everything's gonna get, end up getting moved for sure by these turtles. But for the most part, that's enough. 25 pounds is perfect for this, for this bin. Now come the rocks. Rocks are nice and washed. You add that on top. You can add more rocks if you want in the future, but this will be, believe it or not, sufficient enough. Here you go, and here you go, and then we're just going to add everything like that, yeah. We're all good here. Make sure the water's over there. Filters going to go on this side. Here, come check this out over here. Yeah, that's going to be sufficient enough 1,000% for this area right here. All right, Slayers, so here we have it. We have nice sand bottom that runs into a nice river rock area here for them. Sand for potential new, maybe like a soft shell, snake neck, something like that. Comment below what turtles we should get in there, guys. I'm really looking forward to adding those. We have a little plant here that really doesn't, do, doesn't really do anything, but it just stays there. And we have a nice floating platform so they can go and swim up or if they can go over here and get some air as well. And it's gonna be good. We're gonna fill this up at a good amount, not too much. And a strong filter, guys. That honestly wraps it up, believe it or not, for this bin pond right here. It looks great. It's gonna be like a bin pond for a turtle nursery. It looks absolutely amazing. I am in love with it. Look at that from that angle, guys. Wow. All right, cool. So you got the hose and you got this weird contraption I used for the pond. Not what I was really asking for, but that'll work. It's fine. Let's see what you got, brother. What you gonna do? Whoop, and just like that, Ollie's dead. Joey Slam's not responsible for any broken bones on this channel. Oh, not bad. So that's exactly how we're gonna be doing water changes with this thing. So we're gonna add the water here and then when the ammonia gets too high and the turtles need a water change, what I'll do is I'll just put a pump in there and I'll just siphon out the water just like this and we should be good to go. Turn it on, brother. Alrighty, here we go. I'm just gonna grab this container right now. Here you go, here you go. I'm gonna grab one guy here. How you doing, buddy? Go ahead. Swim away into your oasis. This is like a little paradise for him. So happy. So happy for him. Look at him. Oh, how you doing? Here you go. Put that there. See what happens. Go ahead. Swim. No? I don't want to miss it. Come on. You can do this. Drop. Nice. It's already going onto the pebbles. Look at that. That's perfect. Nice. A lot of space. Everything looks great right there. Then we have this guy here. The last but not least the darkest one right there how you doing buddy you look great these are just impeccable turtles and i love them look he's already gravitating towards that plant that's perfect what's really cool is these plants were already in their enclosure before so they're going to be very familiar with that they know that that's safe haven and look he's already coming up to breathe see boom this is perfect this is a great idea I'm so happy we we're able to put it together where to go buddy I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Guys, if you want to go ahead and join the channel, join the family. Become a slayer, guys. As well as comment below what other types of turtles we should add. And with that being said, 